Uh -huh. Hello and welcome to another low cost beer 24 days advent calendar. Uh, very much a craft beer advent calendar. Good evening, fat people. Wow, good evening, Kevin. Um, I'm actually on time as well, near enough. Um, today is day three of the calendar. I've got my little box here so I can put the can on the box so you can actually see it. And uh, so let's dive straight in. I think that was number three. Yeah, it certainly is. All right. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. And uh, there is the beer. Um, oh. Ah, from Asvex Brewing Company, former Neon Raptor uh, head brewer slash owner. Um, obviously split up from um, Neon Raptor during COVID and then shot, shot off up to Liverpool, Opened a brewery. I've seen the plans on the brewery at the time. Uh, everything gas powered. He'd obviously put a lot of thought into it. And Asvex, got to be honest, they're doing some of the best beers out there. Some of their impy stouts. My good friend Shane B. Good evening, Carla. Uh, my good friend Shane B. He absolutely loves their impies. So one day we might see um, them at Nottingham. For the craft beer festival but uh yeah well, we'll see on that side of things good evening jamie hope you're well so this is inland empire pale ale there we go um I'm trying to see the abv there is the abv oh four percent so four percent pale ale probably a good thing it's not a big beer but it's a bit being as it's a sunday night Good evening, Darren. <laughs> not, not getting drunk on a four percenter. I'd have to drink a hell of a lot of four percenter. Good evening, Addy, and good evening, Lee. So here we go. Great brewery. Love the fact, you know, he's ex Nottingham. I'm not sure if the bloke is from Nottingham or not. Um, not drinking like yesterday for a bit. <sighs> Me neither. <laughs> Yeah, couldn't even remember what beer I reviewed last night on the Adventure Beer Calendar. So I've had to just double check and it was a Burton Town Brewery beer. So I remember it now. So orangey looking pour, white head. Um, nice that this so far, quite some good variation. New Barn Brewery, um, Beak last night, and now Asvec, big breweries. Um, good to see, you know, it's a good craft beer box, Advent Calendar, when you're getting some good named breweries in there and uh, just miss out on this box. Yeah. I mean, 60 quid delivered for 60 quid. You, you can't fold that. Just still snowing in Sheffield. Ouch. Apparently it's uh, Nottingham. It was supposed to be raining earlier, but in Nottingham, it's uh, they reckon there's going to be more snow. That's all we bloody need. Can't be doing no more snow. Drinking French brandy last night, 40%, fair play. Yeah. I, like I said, I said earlier that uh, I'm not drinking spirits these days because they, they go down too well. It's interesting that you can't remember much. I'm like that when I've had a beer. And, uh, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you're like, what did I do? How did I get to bed? And all these things. And uh, it seems to happen to me. Either I'm drinking more than I used to, which may be. Well, probably not, but I certainly can't remember a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, it's this thing, you know, uh, with some beers, after you've drank something really, really big, to jump back down to, to lower ABVs. Mm. But you can't drink Imperial Stouts all the time, otherwise, one, you'd be very ill. Um, so it looks a nice beer from Asvex. Look at that, beautiful. Nice aroma on there. Well, all I can, at the moment, all I'm getting is a bloody froth. So, um, hope everyone's well. Back to work tomorrow. Ooh. Um, I do hope the roads are better tomorrow. Don't want to wake up to more snow. Um, it might be the case that I go out later and use some grit and grit some grit the road outside the house again just to protect our cars. 
um, we're not on a bus route, so um, in the middle of an housing estate, an old housing estate, and uh, you can't um, can't mess about. Got got a grip around the cars just to protect our cars. Good evening, Thomas. Hope you well. Spent the morning morning shoveling snow off the driveway and path. Yeah, just to get out, isn't it? You know, not easy driving on snow. Uh, certain cars brilliant for it. Certain cars are crap. Our Ford went out early is fine, and went out the second time, spin, skidding like hell, couldn't get traction, and uh, balmy. Been on the Roku Gin today, just chilling out to your video proper. Cheers. Luckily on the eighty nine bus route. Ah, fair play. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Into you know. Um, being in Shearwood, especially where we are, uh, just off the ring road, you have to go on on and off by Woodfork Tesco. Um, don't, I'm not trying to go down any bloody roads, just too much like uh, hard work. And you live on a black road. See, for me, you know, I can get to work easy. I can catch a bus if need be, if I really need to, although it's a two mile walk on the other end. I don't fancy that. It's too, too quick though to get there and back, but ugh. good evening, Neil. So, you know, it's nice to be drinking. I know he's not in Nottingham anymore, this brewery, but it's nice to be drinking a, um, an ex Nottingham person's and Neon Raptor, you know, help, helped bring one of the best breweries in the country to life. And since he left, they've gone on to do some amazing collabs. Um, Ooh, that's got some poke to it tropical certainly easy drinking we sold all the um, exercise equipment yeah yeah sold all that yeah that went ages ago that did yeah so i could do the beer room for three or four years ago now i mean when i started going in the beer room it was all in there i think half the beer room was that and uh, in the end we got rid nobody used it anyway and yet now the wife probably could do with um with a, a, a treadmill to run on. It's uh yeah, she could uh put down the mileage on on her app. She's trying to get she's trying to do Land's End to John John O'Groats, which is a lot of, which is a lot of miles. Not not obviously not doing it, but doing it on, on local miles. And I think she's about sixty or seventy off uh, doing that. So yeah, rather than me. It's bad enough driving, the man bloody running. Someone's using the fucking water. <laughs> Sun's on the shower. <laughs> Domestics in the ass. Oh dear. <laughs> Always having a popper strop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that's funny so yeah um yeah easy drinking four percent you know at some stage you've got to drink something low are not you yeah can't be drinking the big 13 14 percenters i've got them here they're here that big impies are here they're, 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 they'll come down at some stage it'd be good 7.6 percent citra dipper from polish usa cola feet and wow so many cracking bit breweries out there, isn't there? Um, last night while I was half drunk, um, the wife and friends, they bu we booked to go to back to finally next September. So that'll be good. I'll get back over to Bud Brewer and Tap Room and uh, go and say hello and all that. Yeah, Cockliffe, Carla. Um, they, they were asking me this morning where the snow shovels are. Thank God nobody asked me to go to work. Come to and he asked me where the snow shovels are and where the salt is for the paths. But um, because it's at the top of a hill, it'll be covered in snow. Um, and I'm there tomorrow for another day. So, so you've had a week of bloody frosts. And then you go in and then it's, there'll be snow on the ground tomorrow, won't there? So another fun day. Um, yeah. I'll have to choose my jobs tomorrow. Yeah, these days are getting like that. We have to choose your jobs all the time. You haven't to, you know, no, can't do what you want to do. You haven't to bloody do random jobs. 
just to keep going. So, oh, yes, easy drinking, quaffable, easy drinking. The and the funny thing is that these are the beers that sell um, the most. Pale ales is what sells the most in pubs. Uh, and that's why a lot of your cask pups, they'll have a lot of, they'll always have two or three pale ale, pale ales, and if not more, the star in at Beeston has a ridiculous amount. Then you have one dark beer one. It's 10 cask lines, one dark beer, nine uh, beers, anything from about three and a half percent up to six. But that's it. So four percent sells massively. And even though I'm not the biggest four percent beer fan, you know, in the grand scheme of things, um, I absolutely understand. Yeah, Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. But even Billy, been to a new bar today that was formerly a Weatherspoons. Had a couple of landlords on cast three pound a pint. Can't fault that. Better nick than the old spoons. See the old spoons. You know, if you chuck the, if you can get the beer this decent. Uh, and keep the beer decent. You don't need the food option. You can just sell the beer. I, I see these micro pubs, and uh, like yesterday, um, the amount of people that were in the uh, uh, Burnt Pig in Ilkeston, he must have sold a fortune of beer. Yes, them taken just they must have been mad. The beer was just it was just like this pouring beer, not literally two of them non-stop, whilst I was there. Uh, no rest for the wicked you know, they were absolutely going for it But and every pub every room had about 15-20 people in if not more and uh, you know all supping and then going up for another one and uh, I had a 10 minute wait at one stage just to get to the bloody bar and that's in the micro pub um, stunning really just, just to show you that a good pub will sell a uh, beer and will, will do well you know it's these pubs with a crap option of beer that just don't Darren, supermarkets these days, I, I've, I've been to Tesco's this morning, the range of beers is really crap. Uh, the the modern traditional beers, which are the beers that sell uh, cheaper than craft, they, their, their range in, at the moment, it's just boring. And why do they have more beers in um, and spread the wealth across more breweries? Is it the fact now though, good evening, Ali, is it the fact now that there's not many breweries out there who can supply supermarkets and make a profit themselves? Because obviously supermarkets won't buy them at a big price. It does make you wonder. If you look at Sainsbury's, the Taste of Difference beers, there's literally about 10 or 11 Taste of Difference beers now. And not much, mass, not a big option of beers, uh, you know, uh, from them. Most people took themselves in on today's like, it's how like a winter walk, winter is a special skeleton trip. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, if you're walking in it and you're warm, uh, it is lovely to look around and see nature. It's all very still and to, you know, uh, it's not nice to work in though. And uh, so many watering holes these days still don't have a single IPA. I don't get it. Yeah, it's strange and to, you know, some places don't do themselves any favours uh, with their beer choices. Um, I mean, Weatherspoon's beers are cheap, yeah, but then you look on the bar and the, the, they need more different stuff themselves even. Good evening, Wayne. Can't wait for the 20th to finish working, finish working for Christmas. Is that the Thursday? I think I'm the same. Um, at the same at the moment, I'm waiting for my new time to go on. So when my loo time gets caught up, hopefully I've actually got three days of loo. And if I have, then I'm going to break up the Friday before. Uh, got the car going in for an MOT tomorrow. Touch wood, so pray it don't bloody fail. I know we've had a shit year, shit year this year with cars. Um, we need it to be good. Rotro's just got Belgian chuffy cherry at eight percent. Ooh, that does sound nice. We ain't got bloody Rotro's near us. The one that we did have closed down. It's now um, a little. Yeah, the little's doing really well. Fair play. Can't drink IPA. There's some good IPAs out there, you know. I mean, to be fair, this pale ale 
it's basically an IPA, you know. They just call it pale ale. But at least they're not calling it pale ale. Uh, indie pale ale, like a lot do. Although the names on beers just tickle me. Um, Marks and Spencer's craft range. There's the odd Christmas beer in it at the moment. Um, it's not the cheapest place to go for beers. Um, it's worth a venture to 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 uh, Mar Marks and Spencer's. Um, nearest one to you would be either IKEA or Neverfield. Um, near near IKEA, the one near IKEA is not bad, but don't go down in on a Saturday or Sunday because it's so fucking busy. Um, Thing I found because you have a nice new car and it will fail. Yeah, an old banger will pass every time. But yeah, yeah. I mean, this year we've had terrible bad luck with cars. Terrible bad luck. And I'm hoping that we just um, um, have some good luck. You know, tomorrow with my wife's car. Because now we're down to two cars. My son's car and my wife's car. So no, I've not replaced the Skoda. Can't afford to. Price of cars is horrendous. Cars are more expensive now than there was five years ago. And uh, cars, used cars have gone up in price, which is balmy. You know, you used to be able to pick an old banger up for 500 quid that with a year's ticket, and it'll probably go for three or four years. Now, 1,500 quid. It's like, fucking hell. Uh -huh. You see some of the prices on cars, and it's like, I'm not paying that. If you can afford it, leasing a car is sometimes the best route. Uh, if you can if you can do that pay a monthly fee 150 200 quid a month lease it um because by the time you paid out for mot's and and all this, all the issues um it does seem to me to be the the better way yeah, especially if you're having the look we've had this year we've spent that much on cars we could have gone on an american holiday yeah and if we if would have took the bmw to a to a, uh, a decent bloody garage in the first place we'd have still had that car and then we wouldn't have spent the money on the um the kia not the kia whatever it's called nissan thing outside um day free beer 52 have not can you coffee start from the netherlands oh i do like a decent coffee style the thing i find with coffee styles the they either go too subtle and you don't taste any coffee or they put shit loads of coffee in and it's and they just ruin the taste because you uh, and my wife she likes not too subtle but certainly in that middle sweet zone um urban chicken to be fair where i went yesterday he's he did a coffee stout at 11 percent, and that was banging that was absolutely banging you've got three cars girlfriend and sons but still sucks but yeah 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 well see now I've not got a car and we've dropped one of our insurances because we have to have insurance on both cars. So in, in essence, my son only uses his car once a week, if if that sometimes. So in, in some ways, I, I think we're just going to go down the route where I borrow his car because it, it was sitting around. Sometimes it was sat for a month and not used. And uh, it's an expensive commodity to sit there and just rot away. No, no, he's still part time. Uh, Urban Chicken, yeah, he's, he's still part time. Um, obviously, he does some, he's does some amazing beers. I've got seven beer reviews coming on the channel. Uh, this is the eleventh beer review today, <laughs> and uh, although they are small, they want full half, they're less than half pint of each. But uh, yeah, eleven, you know, crazy. Um, Exhaust just fell off my 15 year old Clio. And you see, that was the issue with, with the Skoda. Um, the Skoda, the catalytic converter was all smashed up on the inside. So, somehow, I don't know how these things happen. And then there was welding on the back and the cost of the insurance. And even the garage turned around to us and says, catalytic converters for older cars are very hard to get the right one to fit it perfectly and uh, i mean i suppose in some ways could have gone down a scrappy and got it begs the question would it would it have done it um but yeah heartbreaking but also with the skoda it was drinking oil 
um, literally putting oil in a couple of liters uh, every month or two months a couple of liters so that's not good you know in the grand scheme of things my son and use this car to go to work and college yeah so cars are sitting there it's not good for the cars just to sit there they need to be used off to smiling great next saturday hey, hey say hello to matt um see what they have just down the road for me i'll tell you what mate um not only have they got all the beers and wines in the shops um but then he's got all the draft stuff as well draft cider on keg well on bagging box for the cider on keg keg lines as well tell you what they his business model is outstanding and then you've got is it the waitrose across the road yeah brilliant i wish i was nearer um but it's it's a bit off my radar came uh st neots is yes carla you know when when that came on about the nottingham panthers incident and then the player got charged with manslaughter so he must have he, for them to charge him surely he must have gone for that bloke with his what is it his foot was the bloke on the anise and fell and he's like gone and tried to kick him or something and obviously yeah it's um it it don't sound good and uh, you know these sports people when they get a hot head um it's um you know now you've killed he's dead and you've probably ruined your own life have you tried to order badger beers darren today apparently badger brewery are we funding an order back today so if you order from badger brewery today somebody through the day is going to have their order refunded back i actually went down to the brewery fantastic brewery shop absolutely amazing if you're ever in that area um dorset um blamford um it's well worth going in and, and and seeing it he kicked out at him oh bit of bad luck i mean obviously you know he, he obviously didn't do it to to you know to do that intentionally where you wouldn't have thought so but wow wow um it has ramifications for the ice hockey game, doesn't it, in this country? Garage struggling to get the right part to fit, but at 15 years old only, has 65,000 miles on the clock, really want to keep it. Ali, try scrapyards. Phone scrapyards near, near you. I had to get a part. I had something fail on the car. Phoned up the scrapyard, and the scrapyard had the part and um that might be a better option than trying to get it brand new uh if you've got scrap yards around your area of the world um that might be the better option or if they scrap yards can phone if they know of a scrap yards scrap yards are an invaluable source and they probably fit it cheaper than your garage as well because for them it's, it's easy yeah, Addy, you, you, Matt's sound bloke, absolutely sound. He came to Nottingham and we did a re beer review in a pub together, sound bloke. Girlfriend's been shopping in 220 quid, can't see where the money's got in the air these days. Good, you go Tesco's and that for food shopping. It's like, that's 100 quid. Come on. <laughs> Going to make net guards uh, mandatory. Yeah, I think so. You know, Kiddies watching that game. Kids go down to watch these ice hockey games. Can't, you know, there's no kid, no no adult even wants to see that happen in front of them. I mean, accidents happen, yeah, stuff happens, but um, if, if you can make it so it can't happen, it's got to be the way, hasn't it, in, in the grand scheme of things. But yeah, as for cars, scrapyards, in some ways, should I have gone to a scrapyard and got the part, the catalytic converter? Hmm, I don't know. But there was other stuff on the car. They didn't realise about the welding on the back. And I knew about the welding on the back rear arch. Problem of town, Carla, is there are some great pubs in town. Cock and Oob's fantastic. If you're ever down Nottingham on a Monday, anybody, 
if you ever come to Nottingham or in Nottingham on a Monday, there's a pub called the uh, Cock and Oop. It's in the Lace Market area. They do their beer pints for two pound fifty all day. Two pound fifty. Ooh. Yeah, go in. Start start there. Drink about ten pints. You spent twenty five quid. But, oh, can't fault it. Yeah. Next time, next time's a bloody bank holiday. We're going into the town to <laughs> cock and oop and uh, going to go through the board. Um, <clears throat> And that, I think even craft beers are only about three quid as well. It, it's crazy how they sell it. I think they do it so they don't lose beer. So every single Monday they clear all their decks and start again. And they only support local. But yeah, Nottingham, Broadmarsh. Uh, you know what I don't like about Nottingham? It's rough. Gangs of idiots. The, the city is really rough these days. Um, I mean, I, I come from the city centre. And it doesn't bother me about idiots, but I just I just can't be done with it. You go to Beeston, decent. You know, you don't get any problems. I've never had a single issue in Beeston. There's enough pubs there. Uh, half the time we get a lift there and a lift back, so we're not paying for buses. Um, and friendly, you know, in a very small condensed area, you've got everything. And you don't get the, the beggars, you don't get the gangs of idiots. Uh, much better, much, much better. Come to Sheffield, Fox and Doug, you'll you love it there. Jamie, um, I'm talking with Hop Zine and uh, Craft Beer Basic and a few others. Uh, having a day in Sheffield, going to some of their, some of the cask beer pubs and maybe some tap rooms sometime in late January. So uh, that'll be fantastic. Get the train up if there's not some bloody train strikes, but yeah. He was in the barrel drop last week. Mentioned you to a mixed space woman behind the bar. Yeah, that'll be Amy. She's the she's the manager. She's landlord of the uh, barrel drop. Yeah, she's a lovely lady as well. Really nice. Um, yeah, she got married last year. Uh, or was it this year? Might have been this year. Now, but yeah, absolutely top class lady. Knows a beer as well. Um, or Sheffield Tap. Ooh. Oh, you get good evening, Tommy. Are you getting any wine or beer kits for Christmas? No, no. I am getting, I've got a uh, Free Brothers Brewing, 20 beers from them coming. They're upstairs. Um, and uh, uh, Siren Craft, I've got 15 of their beers upstairs waiting for me. But yeah, no no beer kits or wine kits this year. I do want to start brewing, but I'm going to wait a bit longer to brew. Um, uh, let it warm up a bit. And I've got a load of beer in the shed. And I'm trying not to be drink too much you know I've, sometimes you know when the temptation's there it, like with spirits and wine if the temptation's there or big impy stouts if there's too much of a temptation you can go down i mean i'm sitting here next to six six bloody barrel aged imperial stouts and uh, i'm surprised actually because i got them yesterday i'm surprised they haven't cracked one open yet but uh, i'll try and do one tomorrow try and sneak a beer review when the wife's not noticing <laughs> um but yeah, no, no, I do need to, but uh, sometimes I do want to do an, another um, all grain beer, but my last one, I cocked it up. So I've learned a lesson there. Don't do all grain when you've had a drink. Yeah, yeah. Have a drink at the end when, when it's red, when it's finished. <laughs> Triple Point Brewery is great in Sheffield. Yes, they was on about that in, in, in our little chat. Definitely want to... Um, I definitely want to go there. Go to Fox and Duck. You're not walking out after. <laughs> Lots of beer. Was well, your dad a beer connoisseur? No, he was just a piss artist. Yeah, yeah. He actually Shipston's he did. And uh, he could drink Shipston's something um, massively. Yeah. And barley wine. He, he really had a thing for barley wine. I'm not sure if barley wine back in that day was as strong as it can be now. But, uh, yeah, it used to send him a bit whappy, um, a bit punch-happy, you know. The day, day Magnus Mellers um, in St. Anne's, him and his mate, uh, I think they cleared the pub one night between them, took out the pub, which uh, my dad was six foot five. I tried to clear out the pub. I'd, I'd get knocked out straight away. So, But there, yeah, that's not the sort of person I am anyway. Yeah. I stay well away from violence. You know, there's always somebody with a knife or a gun these days. No point. <clears throat> I can say more with me gob. 
only been to one time. Good evening, Sean. Uh, over Monkey Brewing in Colchester, right here. Dreaming of star evil start had me bladdered. Yeah, yeah. Some beers come wallop you. Now, with beers, and I said this earlier in the last chat, but with certain beers, it's not always the ABV of the beer. It's that particular beer. Sometimes um, you just get walloped on, on a beer. And it can be a lower ABV beer. And it's just that, that certain beer absolutely batters you. And then, like with me, I can drink in Imperial Stouts all day long. And they, you know, are pretty good. And then some beers, absolutely steaming. And it's like, why? The ABV is less. Bonkers, our, our beer it gets you sometimes. £2.40 a pint. Oof. That is cheap. Bloody hell, it's cheaper than Weatherspoons. How the hell can they sell it for £2.40 in this day and age? Only one pub near me, um, a micro pub in Giltbrook, they sell, or Allsworth, I think it is, near Ikea in Nottingham, they sell their beer at three fifty a pint, whatever the beer is. So they obviously have beer that's all pretty much the same ABV, um, but three fifty a pint, oof. My missus wants to know when's the bacon with Becky is happening long. <laughs> what Mrs. Raggy? No. Yeah. I haven't done any I haven't done anything like that for a while. Yeah. I did my cheese. Um was it, was it Stilton over chips? Whoa, that was nice. Absolutely lovely. I was hoping that Northern Monk would bring out the next Death Star this Christmas. Heard anything about it? No. I don't see a 12 percenter coming to supermarkets for the foreseeable future, especially with this new duty on, on Impis. Because now, instead of it being like a five or six, whatever it will be, you're looking at like eight or nine quid, even in supermarkets. Have you tried the Duchess Chocolate Cherry? Duchess Chocolate Cherry? What, what, uh, what, is that the one at Waitrose, you mean? Ooh. Let me have a swig. Nottingham Base Brewery. 4% uh, pale ale. Lovely tropical nose. Retaining its head massively. I mean, that's, what, 20, 32 minutes in. Still retaining its head. Brilliant. Seem to use additives like chocolate powder. Oh, prefer a traditional drink. And that's where we're all different, isn't it? We all, personally, I can drink literally anything. Uh, apart from Hoe Garden. I can't stand Hoe Garden. Nasty stuff. Um, but um, I can, vary, you know, the styles of beer. I do like to flip from styles of beer and uh, and even lagers now and again, German lagers rather than the English lager. No, my pint has gone in the bin, Tommy. It stopped working. Uh, you press the button to open it up, dark lager in there. Press the button to, to open it up and nothing had come out. I could never get it to work, so I binned it. I was going to keep it just for pouring nice beers on. But if you can't, if you can't bloody use it for that, then, yeah, it just got binned. Sitting in the kitchen for three months, and the wife says, get that bloody thing binned. <laughs> so, yeah, shame. I mean, I got some good beer out of it. It was okay, but they keep changing these pinters, don't they, and prattling about with them. Got the Duchess from the Beers of You, right here. Mm. I've not been to Beers of You for a while, to be fair. Good evening, Mr. Stout King, how are you? Calling long taste, yeah. Yeah, that Cruz Campo I had, had that, and uh, it, it was crap. It was so bland, and uh, it was really, really rubbish. Um, Madri, fair play. Madri's actually a lot better than Cruz Campo. I mean, neither of them are, are nowhere near as good as Estrella. Don't be, one, one thing, though, the beers made in this country are not the same as the beers made in their homeland, and... If you're in Spain drinking Madri or Estrella, it tastes a lot better by Paul with heat, with a good heat, bit of heat behind you. A lot better. Love my stouts. Full as London Porter. Yes, yes. Guinness West Indies Porter. Yeah. And do sneak a few broadsides in as that bit. Yep, yeah, absolutely agree with that. Broadside. Oh, 
Adnams. Adnams is literally one of the best breweries I've ever seen in my life. Um, their brewery shop is like Candyland. Good evening, Mr. Red Dog. How are we? And uh, yeah, their shop's like Candyland. You walk in and it's like, oh, you walk into there. What is their tap room? And you're like, Jesus, tons of cask, tons of keg, even flipping spirits and wine, all Adnams. They are absolutely amazing. I'm not a fan of that Guinness import, the one where they brew with Sojourn, not Michael Petit. Sog, Sogum. Oh, I don't know about that one. The foreign night, foreign extra, do you mean, on the Guinness import? Hmm. Never really noticed what they, what, what they brewed it with. There are, as far as I know, there are three versions of the Guinness foreign extra. Yeah. So, enjoying this. Good evening, Disco. Hope it's, uh, hope the snow's calmed down or you, you didn't get it. It's funny, different parts of the country not getting the snow. Ireland didn't get it. Bedfordshire didn't get it. Nottingham got off whack. And, and we don't normally get it that bad here, really. Uh, it's been the African. Ah, right, yo. Nigerian one then, wasn't it? Um, yeah, we normally don't get it bad in Nottingham. It's been, I can't remember the last time we really had a bad, uh, s s you know, drop of snow in Nottingham. But uh, it was a good drop last night. And uh, Adnam's Ales, they are, mate. Yeah. And you go down to the brewery. Next time I go down, um, the the one of the managers is going to invite me into the brewery for, for a taste of some, you know, sample beers and stuff so that'll be nice when if i ever get down what do you think to hooknell as a place for a night out so our good friend here red dog ales is on about going to hooknell this next saturday i sadly um i'm not out next weekend as far as i know so uh, i'm working on saturday so is what it is um south coast here what snow you didn't get snow there either just pissing down here look Sheffield got snow, so but it's still coming down, yeah. Snow thicker in Kimberley, yeah. No snow here, just cold. Minus two outside on the bar at the brewery estate. Ooh, good beer though. That's like Black Irish Brewery um, uh, in Nottingham. They're, they've got an outdoor tap room and it's Baltic at this time of the year. Uh, you can't stop for long, you know. Uh, the best place is the toilet. Get your beer, go and sit in the toilet. The toilet's got radiators in. Deodorants, ladies' things, and uh, tampons or whatever you call them, pads. Amazing for a brewery to do that. You know, to, for, for somebody who got gets caught out, for them to have that in the toilet, it's absolutely amazing. Anyway, as for Hucknall, yes, you got the Byron's Rest, and uh, I'm on Mr. Red Dog. He'll know more than me, but uh, you got the Byron's Rest. Absolutely love that micro pub. Um, was there last February for the Hucknall Beer Festival. And uh, I shall be going to the Hucknall Beer Festival this year as well. But I also want to get the other pubs in Hucknall that I've not been to. Are you taking the mic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm too, too busy to go and watch local football. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always working. Um, and if I'm not working, I'm doing beer reviews. Yeah. Or maybe going out for a beer on a Saturday, but yeah, it's uh, it was actually warmer going into the fridge, the cellar cabin at the brewery. So yeah, been freezing. Um, what's the best beer you've had this year? That's a question I can ask to everybody here. What's your best beer this year? Oh, difficult, very difficult. I think if I'm being honest and, and myself, I think um, it was last Saturday. Uh, I drank Raggy Avenue. And the, just the, the, the balminess of drinking my own beer brewed uh, with Alter Ego Brewing, you know, because I helped brew it. Um, I, I called the name of it, did, did the flavouring. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. But also the, the Ragnify that's at Alter Ego at the moment, that too is amazing. You know, for a six percenter, absolutely amazing you doing something for christmas no i've had a nice quiet christmas got the family around my daughter and the the grandkids around on christmas day and we may go out somewhere um 
uh, one of the Saturdays, the two Saturdays, I have a side of Christmas. But no, we'll be having a nice, peaceful Christmas. Good evening, Liam. How are you, mate? Fire up Bruins um, birthday next week, fifth birthday. I sadly will not be going, but uh, yeah, they're going to be some amazing beers. Which is the Death Stars was your favourite version? Only ever got to try the second one. Never tried the first. Adnams Broadside, life changing experience. Yeah, Adnams is top quality. The Broadside. Strange that the cask version is only 4.7 and the bottle is 6.3. Balmy. Black Cat Beer, love it. Ooh, I've never had any of theirs. But it's so expensive. Is Raggy ever ate? No, no. It was only one. It was only one um, keg of it. So just over 20 litres, 23 litres. I think it went the same day. Yeah. Will he do a rebrew? God, I hope so. Yeah. Just to have the raggy name on it as well. <laughs> Asvex Mana Tropical Smoothie Sour, my fave. Oh, bless you. Not sure I've had the best beer so far, but I haven't laid into the Ragnifier yet. It's interesting beer, mate. Let it warm up. It's interesting if you have it a bit cooler and then let it warm up. Like every good style, once it warms up, oh. Been to Farrow's, there's some crackers on at the minute. Have you seen on the WhatsApp? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've actually got that sour at home um, in the shed to review at some stage. Taste isn't overly different at all, to be fair. It's just the ABV. It's 1.6% difference, but it still tastes good. I prefer the 6.3%, but that, well, that's just me. Dulce de Lecce one last year. Yes, I did. I did like the Dulce de Lecce. I'm not sure if it was... Um, was that Death Star or was it one of the other versions of Stout? But it was nice. I know that. Never had the cast. Yeah, I haven't had it a couple of times. Yeah, quant, quant, I was hoping to get one in the can and all. So I had to buy two thirds from the uh, tap room and take, bring a third home with me. But it was good to support a great brewery. You know, he is a great brewer. And uh, Black Iris, Siphicidal Tendencies. It's absolute cracker. Do you know, Neil, I went to Black Iris Brewery the other week. Um, and uh, when it was the Halloween festival thing, and they had thirds at seven quid from Emperor's Brewery. I wasn't paying that much. Uh, there was other thirds at a fiver. But they had the Siphicidal Tendencies on cask. And I swear it was only three quid a pint. It was ridiculous. I couldn't. I was driving, so I could not get it. I wish I'd have took my bottles down, because I'd have, at three quid, I'd have took a bottle home and, uh, you know, kept it for another day. But uh, it was ridiculously cheap. It wasn't on the last time I went. So they must that must have been the last bit of a cask that they wanted rid of. So chuck it down cheap, get rid. But three quid for the price it was, the 10 percenter. Um, Bomber. He made no money on that beer. But again, that's probably the why they got, were getting rid of it. Black Sheep Brewery, 30 barrel aged Imperial Gingerbread Stout was the best I've had this year. Wow. Yeah, I was driving. Yep, sadly. And there was other things on the menu that I wanted to try. Or at least have a sip of. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's one of them times where being the driver's crap. Black Sheep do make some good beers, to be fair. So, 43 minutes in, this beer is still retaining its head. A lovely tropical flavour on it. Yeah, lovely tropical nose as well. It's, you know, it's doing really, really well. Have I tried Umbozu from Tartarus? I do like Tartarus. I was gifted a fair, a fair few Tartarus beers from Berry Beast in the East off Instagram, who's sadly not on Instagram now, but, um, and uh, Tartarus makes some amazing beers, some big bloody ABV. Yeah, one day I'll get up to the, um, when driving, go in the pub, it's when I can't have beer. <laughs> Might get a 12 beers at Christmas, what do you recommend? If you've got the money, mate, the £80 one at Black at, at Blue Monkey is amazing. Yeah, because it has got some of these buggers in. Tonka bean and rum 
barrel aged imperial stat. Old fashioned wild turkey barrel aged imperial stout. Oh, I've not reviewed one of these already. Uh, a Buffalo Trace barrel aged imperial stout. No, wife's in the next room. Get a bollocking. Uh, <laughs> chili and ginger tequila barrel aged imperial stout. Sherry barrel aged imperial stout. And uh, Space Side Barrel Aged Imperial Start. It is. Got it from Blue, Blue Monkey, and uh, you know, you, you're paying the price, but wow, uh, absolutely stunning! Stunning. Can't wait to get reviewing them. Uh, I'm, I'm going to need to review them in between doing the two advent calendars uh, just to get an extra reviewing. <laughs> Try at least. Umboza looks like washing liquid, but it tastes bloody amazing. Wow. So, yeah. So, lovely. It smells really juicy on the nose now. Now it's warmed up a bit and the air's got to it. it smells really juicy on the nose. I don't think you can but fault Asvex. Um, I'd like to see Asvex and Neon Raptor. Five hours live a days. Yeah. <laughs> That's what got me the bollocking. That's why I got kicked off the lives. Would you ever consider us getting a puppy to replace Charlie? We we were told that there's somewhere in Newark um, who breeds Cocker Spaniels. Um, yeah. Um, who breeds Cocker Spaniels and they've got a five year old Cocker Spaniel that they're just gonna, they're going to give away. They're obviously looking for the right family, and to give a, to give it away, um, a dog away is amazing. We love Cocker Spaniels, and we're being a five year old, it's good, you know, it needs a good home at that age, and so we're just waiting there. Um, the woman's uh, been in Australia, so she's coming back sometime, she's either back now or next week, so um. Yeah, I've got to be good in the ass. Yeah, it's not like being in the shed. In the shed, I can get a sneaky beer. In the house, I'm stuck because I've got to walk past people to get the beers. So, uh, yeah, 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 I'll get a sneaky beer later. These things happen. Blue Monkey and Pubs about six years back. Never had a chance to review them on here. Right. Yeah, the, the, I've got the 12 box. 12 beers of Christmas from them for 40 quid. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the good range of different beers. Have I been to Cat Asylum? No, no, not yet. No, want to. It's on my list, you know. I still haven't been to Newark yet. And, and again, it's on my list to get to Newark. Um, but what well, one day I'll get there, right? I better. Finish this off, give it a quick, a bit of a review at least. It's a lovely beer. Um, what's it called? Inland Empire Pale Ale, 4%. Tropical nose, tropical taste. Uh, get, getting better, with warmed up with the air getting to it. Um, Asvex, would I drink this again? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I assume this is a beer they'd, they'd have on quite regular as well. Like I say, Pale Ales are what sell the money. Because you'll drink multiple pints of this, whereas if it's a bloody impy stout, you'll have a third, and that'll be it. So you can understand. I can understand why breweries brew what they brew. It's all about getting you to drink more and more, and keeping you relatively sober at doing it as well. Clever, clever. You know, two impy stouts, you pissed, you're going m. Ten pints, a lot more money to be made. Um, it's clever. Would I drink it again? Yes. Good four point four out of five for me. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to get over one of these days. I wanted to go to that beer festival, but it fell at exactly the wrong time. Doesn't matter, nothing. Can never get everywhere where you want to get, can you? You know, there's lots of things I want to do. One, money. Two, time. And then three, and uh, probably sometimes um, I've already been succumbed to doing something else at the same time. Which is, uh, you know, that's the thing. But anyway, massive thank you for each and everybody for joining in tonight. A uh, great live, 8 o'clock again tomorrow night for the next one. Looking forward to this box. There's some absolute bangers. 5 o'clock as well for the adventure beer. I haven't gone there. 
yeah and now i'm not working in the evening it, there will be one the barrel age one might, might be i might keep that just to a normal one so i can do a quick 10 minute review jobs are good and <laughs> and uh, i can get it down enjoy right thank you for watching see you soon that's if it turns off bloody internet cheers